Alright guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please su subscribe and like and share. Um, we have a, an unboxing video for you for uh, this Ultra HD 4K webcam. It does claim to do uh, 4K video at 25 frames per second and also has a built-in microphone. And it's supposed to be widescreen. Um, I have not tried this. Uh, matter of fact, this is the first time in the box. Uh, first time opening it. So let's go ahead and dig into here and see what we've got. It does have a pretty pretty neat design, I must say. And we're going to set that to the side for a second. Um, we do have some paperwork in here. A 4K webcam setup guide. For those of you that don't know how to plug in a USB cable. And we've got another thing in here. So, thanks for selecting us. Your satisfaction is our highest pursuit. Your item has been handled and shipped as soon as we can as soon as we receive the order. That's kind of neat. Get a little card here and a WhatsApp thing here. That's pretty neat. Get yourself a little thank you card basically for buying the webcam. Um, this webcam was sent to me, by the way, for, uh, review purposes. So we're going to get it out of this little foam thing. So as you can see, it has a little, uh, lens cap here. Um, it also has a built-in light around here, I believe. Like I said, I haven't used it yet. Um... That's got to be the built-in mic on the side. It does have a tripod mount, so we'll give that a try, too. That's kind of neat. The nice, nice soft foam here for uh, giving it a nice non-slip uh, attaching to your computer. It doesn't turn left and right. Oh, yeah, it does. It's just hard so I wouldn't turn it to the left or to the right because it seems like it's maybe not supposed to do that so um, it does feel kind of tight but it does kind of wiggle left and right but we're gonna leave that alone this uh, hinge mechanism here actually seems pretty smooth and pretty solid overall this is a pretty good build quality pop the lens cap over open and actually it looks like we got a glass lens. That's actually kind of promising. It is kind of scratched though. That's a bit odd. But it does appear to be a glass lens. I don't know what that little button thing is there. I don't know how you turn on and off the the light unless it's touch activated on the side. There's no button on it. I thought maybe this is a button, but it doesn't push. It doesn't push down. But yeah, overall, this is actually pretty decent video quality. I mean, build quality. Sorry. Where does this come off? Yeah, it does come off. So... It looks like the lens cap is optional. Ah, okay, I see. I see here. So we got this. Uh, you can you peel it off. It's this uh, uh, goofy plastic stuff. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's definitely not a button, but it does. It is a fingerprint magnet. That's pretty shiny. I think uh, maybe that's glass too. No, it's probably just plastic. But uh, 
that's pretty neat. Pretty, pretty neat, if I must say. But uh, overall, this is a very good looking camera. I'm actually looking forward to uh, testing it out for the review. Uh, yeah. So I will put a link in the description for this camera if you are interested in buying it. Um, I would say this is probably a budget 4K camera. Um, if you're in a pinch and you, you know, you're looking to do some YouTube videos or whatever, Skype calls, and you want decent quality video for those, um, this is going to be, this is probably going to be the camera for you. Um, I, on the other hand, I was actually looking for an upgraded camera because the built-in camera to my computer isn't fantastic. It's only 720. So I've been looking for a 4K camera, but, you know, not everybody just has $200 to shell out for a Logitech Brio, but uh, eventually I'll get one and that'll be a neat comparison for this, but I will be comparing this to my internal camera just as a comparison. But uh, yeah, any questions, just leave them down in the comments below, and I will try to reply as soon as quick, as soon as possible, not as soon as quickly possible, but you know. But that's going to do it for this video. Uh, stay tuned for the actual uh, full review. Yeah. So far, my first impressions is the... This camera looks pretty decent, so I'm looking forward to trying it. Anyways, peace out, and see you in the next one.